Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today, I am going to explain about plant metabolic engineering. Plant metabolic engineering involves the manipulation of existing metabolic pathway by either increasing or diverting flux to desired or from the undesired product respectively or the generation of chemical entities not normally found in plant production system through the introduction of gene from other organism. Essential elements in metabolic engineering are mechanism to eliminate or overexpression of gene activity or introduction of new pathway. Crop plant with altered nutrient content. Golden rice proved the concept that the nutrient content of the crop plant can be improved by metabolic engineering. Nutrient level of certain plant was enhanced by using breeding such as sweet potato where the nutrient content was increased. Uh, the nutrient content which has been increased was pro-vitamin A, bean with iron and zinc, pearl millet with iron and zinc, rice with zinc, iron and pro-vitamin A. Golden rice. Golden rice is a variety of um, Oryza sativa produced through genetic engineering, biosynthesis, beta carotene. Main purpose of uh, to provide pro vitamin A to developing countries where malnutrition and vitamin A deficiency are common. Now, why we have targeted rice only? That is mainly because the global staple food cultivated for over 10,000 years, rice provide as much as 80% or more the daily calorie intake of 3 billion people in the world. Milled rice is usually pro vitamin A free that means it doesn't have much pro vitamin A. So the what is the goal of golden rice mutant rice plant to produce beta carotene or organic pigment especially the beta carotene pro vitamin A in the endosperm the edible part of the grain. Beta carotene will be synthesized from geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate pathway. So for transformation what they did is that they took phytoin synthase gene from daffodile and uh, phytoin desaturase uh, from Irvinia irudovira which is a bacteria then lycopene beta cyclase lycopene beta cyclase from daffodile so uh, this phytoin desaturase it is present here so these genes will be isolated from daffodile and Irvinia irudovira now the genes which are involved in the synthesis of uh, beta carotene from both drophodil and um, Erwinia bacterium were transferred to the plasmid. Now these plasmids are transferred to the bacterium that is agrobacteria then uh, tumefacients. Now this agrobacterium tumefacient will infect the endosperm of rice which is present in the petri dish. Now this rice will be transformed uh, rice plant must be crossed with the strain of rice that are uh, grown locally and are suitable to a particular region climate and growing condition so this is how golden rice was synthesized in uh, 2005 a team of researcher at biotechnology company produced a variety of golden rice called golden rice 2 they combined phytoin synthase gene from maize with the original golden rice the, and they called it as golden rice 2. Now this golden rice 2 produced 23 times more carotenoid than original golden rice that is up to 37 microgram per gram. What are the advantages of golden rice? Golden rice provide more quantity of vitamin A cheaper option to supply vitamin A requirement compared to other supplementary measure. Sustainable option as once released for common cultivation can be calculated or can be cultivated in every growing season by farmers saved seed. Therefore, no need for early budgetary investment for distribution. Alteration of uh, nutrient level not required knowing the gene in its biosynthetic pathway. Example expressing two transcription factor from snapdragon in tomato. The level of flavonoid anthocyanin have been increased threefold. Flavonoid confer improved chemoprotective property of cancer susceptible mice. 
Metabolic engineering also use gene knockdown process where they use RNA interference. Here the double stranded RNA of interest is taken. Dicer will cleave this double stranded DNA into a SI RNA. Now this SI RNA will be uh, attached with the RNA interference silencing complex which is also called as RISC. Here the sense strand of the SI RNA will be removed. After that the activation of risk complex protein uh, protein complex will be activated. Now this antisense uh, SI RNA will go and bind to the target mRNA. Later it will degrade it due to cleavage of the mRNA. So in this way it is going to block uh, any pathway. So this same process was utilized in the ethylene biosynthesis pathway so that uh, RNA interference block the expression of ACC oxidase which involved in the final step of ethylene biosynthesis. Since uh, ACC oxidase was blocked, ethylene synthesis will be down regulated. Thus, the ethylene production in the tomato fruit will be delayed mm, tomato fruit will be like uh, down regulated that will lead to the delay of ripening of the fruit. Metabolic engineering also use plant as a bioreactor for the production of edible vaccine polymers and pharmaceutical drugs. Production of edible vaccine. Now the gene for human pathogen is inserted into the bacterium that infect the plant. Now this bacteria infect the potato leaf segment. Now this leaf segment sprout into whole plant containing gene of human pathogen. If we eat the raw potato triggered, trigger, now this uh, raw potato will trigger the immune response to pathogen. In this way we can able to produce edible vaccine. Biopolymers and plants. Plant seeds may be potential source of plastics that could be produced and easily extracted. A type of PHA that is polyhydroxyalkanoate polymer called polybeta hydroxybutyrate or PHB is produced in Arabidopsis and mustard plant. PHB can be made in canal seed by transfer of three genes from the bacterium alkaligens eutrophus which code for enzyme PHB synthase pathway. The polymer called PHV produced through alkali gens fermentation which is sold under the name of Biopol. Plant as pharmaceutical factors. Having astonishing potential for biosynthesis of small molecules, many secondary metabolites as drugs such as uh, morphine steroids can be synthesized from the plant. Many phytochemicals like flavonoids, anthocyanin, phenolic compound can also be synthesized in the plants. Uh, here also the same way the gene of our interest will be transferred to the plant cell through agrobacteria mediated transformation. Later the when plants start to grow it will produce that uh, metabolite or uh, the secondary metabolite like morphine or steroid in their uh, plant that extract will be extracted from the plant and uh, it can be utilized for pharmaceutical purpose. Plant engineering for nitrogen fixation. Some bacteria carry out their own version of harbor bush process reducing atmospheric nitrogen into more bioavailable form that is ammonia using enzyme nitrogenase. Nitrogenase enzyme is a complex enzyme. It is a multiple metallo cluster required large quantity of biochemical energy the transfer of electron needed to activate the exceptionally stable nitrogen triple bond by expressing the nitrogenase plant would able to fix their own nitrogen. Nitrogen fixed by plant could be used immediately to generate amino acid and the nucleic acid monomer transport them to the neighboring cell. Second method of increasing the nitrogen uptake is by engineering a rhizosphere symbiosis between a nitrogen fixing microorganism and a host plant. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button. 
subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you